guys it's Nicole welcome back to Chronicles of a Crafter guess what guys we are doing our index card Scrabble piece challenge today and we are up to the letter Z believe it or not and uh, yeah it's bittersweet we got to the end of the alphabet obviously we'd get here one day and the Z is the uh, Scrabble piece that has 10 points on it. I'm going to do two index cards today. As you can see, I have them all laid out. It's mostly just collage, guys. It's hard to find 3D or laser cut or um, chipboard cut um, pieces that are, you know, raised or 3D other than my Scrabble pieces here um, that start with the letter Z. So, I've just went through the dictionary, pulled out all kinds of information, words that you would have never have thought of other than zoo or zebra and things like that. But um, yeah, I just went ahead and did some prepping, some pre-work, and we're just going to get on with it because we're so close to the end. I can almost taste it, right? So <laughs> I inked my two index cards. These are the five by eight size index cards. I scalloped cut this edges on this one and I rounded the edges on this one. And um, I inked them with my new favorite color, which is the peacock feathers. And this one I inked with, uh, I believe it's um, something wilderness, w rustic wilderness. <laughs> so yeah, and then I just inked around some of my torn pieces of paper with vintage photo and as well as this is just photocopy dictionary paper. So I inked around the inside of that paper, did some stenciling here and here, and we're just playing with paper. It's not a big deal. I went through my die cut, um, pieces and found one for a zipper and it looks like this sorry for the glare but it's a zipper set um by maddie's crafty joy and um yeah i just die cut this guy on my um i used my we are memory keepers evolution advance for this one i could have used the sizzix big shot but it's not accessible right now <laughs> yeah my craft room is crazy land so yeah so I just die cut this little zipper out and I'll probably place it somewhere on the project so that's left to be seen and then I have like you know my standard uh, vinyl letter Z I also found a felt letter Z in my stash and that's made of felt so I'll go ahead and place that on the project somewhere yeah, and again I have my vinyl Z's to go so again this is just collage we're not doing anything outrageous so I'm just going to flip these over and add some glue to my index card and then we will layer them right back on top of the paper so this I found is the easiest way to keep your layout intact and um, yeah so that's how I'm doing it today I hope you guys are having a crafty day it's just one of those lazy Mondays that you really don't want to do anything gross um, but you know you have to do something and I'm just lazing around I'm using craft bond by Elmer's it's an extra strength permanent bond glue and yeah I'm just going to put should probably be using my silicone glue mat here just in case it makes cleanup so much easier I'm just gonna put glue all over here and I'll show you guys something else that I simulated. Um, I wanted to use the word zinc in this project and it's going on this other card. You can see it right there. And instead of actually using zinc pills, which I do have some zinc pills, but I noticed that if they get wet, they'll just deteriorate on your paper and make a big mess. So I found these beads. These are wood beads. They were brown. I spray painted them white and filled their little holes at the, at the top and bottom of the bead. So yeah, I'll be using these as a simulated zinc pill for this project. I am also going to, um, let's just spritz this a little bit, just to moisten my glue and uh, get my pages, my collage pages stuck 
down almost immediately because there has to be a lot of glue on here it's layering so this one's going to go down first and wherever I missed I'll pop some more glue stick on there and then I have to layer a piece on top of it so it'll go right about here yep so um, what else was I going to tell you guys? Let's see. Um, I think that's about... <laughs> nothing crazy is happening around here, guys. Nothing much at all. So, yeah, I'm just layering some glue. I mean, some paper on top of these index cards. I like my... Here it is. My little spray, spray bottle. It spritzes a little bit um, better than the big spray bottle. Here I have a map of Zimbabwe, formerly known as Rhodesia, and I'm just going to add some more glue right here. I've met some of the nicest people from Zimbabwe. I mean, it's a country in Africa, if you guys didn't realize, but um, yeah, I <laughs> some of the nicest people on earth are from here. And I met um, these folks on um, my cruise that I went on. So these were like employees um, of the cruise ship or cruise line. And um, I met a girl, her name is Sunshine, believe it or not. Her birth name is Sunshine. And the nicest person, I mean, such a, she has such a great outlook on life and you know just really nice people so yeah um i think they were they nicknamed her on you know her her what do you call it co-workers called her sunny uh this was in the arts the art gallery of the uh cruise and um yeah she was just the nicest person i have ever met just so nice all right, so I'm going to have to change up my, my uh, layout just a little bit. And I'm going to also tear off a little bit down here. don't need that much about these two animals. So there's a Zimu, or a Zebu, and a Zebra. Uh, those are the two Z animals that I'm working with today. But yeah, Sunny was just so nice. She was very um, educated about the art that we were looking at um, purchasing and just a fun, fun overall person. Um, I'm going to cover up this over here and then layer this like tear this down. You know, things happen on the fly, guys. <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> did not plan for that. But, yeah, I'm just going to tear it uh, just a little bit. Too much of it is, um, it's just too much. So I'll tear this side down as well. And I just stenciled right over this Z page. This was um, some dictionary paper that I photocopied. And I stenciled right over the letter Z right there. Yeah, but Sunny was a really nice person, very smart um, individual when it came to that artwork that we were, you know, just they've educated them very well on all the art um, that we were looking at getting. So I was very impressed and she was just so sweet. Anyway, that's enough about that. I'm just trying to play with these to get them back to where I had it without losing too much of my z words like can you still tell that zimbabwe under there perhaps maybe maybe not all right so i'll just do that yeah that's what i will do okay um yeah so hope y'all are doing fun stuff in your crafting spaces but i'm really really excited that we made it all the way to z i did not give up on this project i refuse to give up on this project so yeah just tear that away still kept my z boo and then i will add this z straight through here in the middle 
and um, yeah guys we have some really interesting crafty things happening here in the craft room coming up I'm gonna cover up botanical gardens there we go okay so I'll set this one aside to dry it'll take a few um, seeing that I spritzed it with water but I wanted it on there quickly and um, you know good and stuck so I'm just gonna flip this one over and do almost the exact same thing trying to keep my layout in place and I'm gonna add some glue onto the index card and then I'll spritz it with a little bit of water and then add my layered pieces on top of here another country um, in uh, the Z letters also from Africa is Zambia when I was little I lived in New York obviously I grew up in New York um, and New York is so diverse there's some of everything if you think you know everything <laughs> go to New York you'll learn something new um, yeah so in New York I was in kindergarten let's just say like not even fully in kindergarten it might have been like pre-kindergarten and I met a girl um, her name believe it or not was um, Kenya and she was from uh, Zambia <laughs> and uh, I remember asking her because I was just so fascinated I was like wait a minute you're from another country <laughs> what's that like and you know being a kid you just you don't know you have no idea um, I'm like do you have like buildings are there houses like you know it's just questions kids ask each other like you know just total total curiosities right so yeah there was a little girl in my pre-kindergarten class named Kenya from Zambia I think that I think I got that right <laughs> I think that's how that went um, but yeah she was a sweet little girl uh, I just remember you know she sat next to me in class and we talked a lot got in trouble together a lot for talking I'm a chatty Kathy as you can tell uh, when I was little my mom she would take me to the store with her or whatever and within two seconds I would have like friends from the register all the way back <laughs> just chat chatting away to everybody I would just talk to every and anybody and uh, yeah my mom was like I can't take you anywhere <laughs> you're gonna get me in trouble you talk so damn much <laughs> so yeah I just I was a chatty kid I liked making friends and you know just talking to people and uh, yeah so I'm just going I'm just trying to figure out where this piece was and where I'm gonna put it now if it wasn't here here it's where it's gonna live uh, zombie I'm gonna twist it a little yeah put it like that there we go zombies down um, here is a zodiac yep zodiacs going right there what's this last piece oh a zither guys you're not gonna believe this like <laughs> you know I I I share a lot with you <laughs> and um, yeah so I didn't even know what it was called but I actually have one of these little things it's like it's like a guitar it's like a lap guitar it's called a zither I have a little mini one that you play the same way with your fingers but um, yeah I didn't even know that's what it was called but I have a little lap guitar a mini zither and um, yeah when I found it in the dictionary I was like perfect now I could have gone and made a copy of mine and used it in this project but as you can see with all these Z words I ran out of space for actual things you know like there are no 3d oh, I think I'm gonna place this over here there are no 3D zithers that I could have made small enough to put onto this project. So I think I think just the image of it alone is fine. I'm going to I'll just place it on its side like so. 
okay and my zipper will go like that or like that yeah let's place the zipper on before I forget I'm going to use um, art glitter glue to glue this down I don't know why it just automatically I reach for art glitter when I have die cuts and the precision tip helps for all of these um, you know all those little spaces okay so I'm going to place my little zipper I'll place it like so and it's okay if it hangs off the page I'm okay with it if you're okay with it and here I have my little faux zinc pills now I'm going to use our um, fabric fix or fabric tack for this and I hope I have enough in this bottle because I also have to glue down my letter Z gonna put it on there get on there and put this one just drop it there we go and for this one I'm gonna use this white nope 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 for this one I'm gonna use the brown the wood colored uh, scrabble piece and for sure I've ran out of of Fabri-Tac in this one bottle. I think it is done. So I'm just going to pop that C right there. Oh, there's the word zombie. Okay. So there's that. Alrighty. And uh, what else am I forgetting to go on here? I think that's pretty much it. Alright, so I should not have put down those yet, but it's all good, guys. I forgot that I also wanted to do some stamping so on here I'm just going to stamp onto this the paper I'm using my Tim Holtz um, uh, field note stamps so I'm just gonna stamp it just about anywhere right there should do it oh that's perfect and uh, gonna stamp it anywhere let's just stamp it anywhere okay sweet all right so there's that um, I can also let's see maybe maybe I'll just stamp off the page right there and I will do that again right there all right so there's that and I also wanted to add just a little bit of the element of the uh, zodiac so I'm a Taurus my birthday falls in between there and there and um, maybe maybe I'll place the little bowl somewhere I'll cut him down he's a little a little bit too big and I think we'll be done with this one it just requires adding some vinyl Z, uh, Z's Z's <laughs> I'd love to get some Z's right now <laughs> um, yeah so yeah I'll just ink around this I inked it initially with my pink uh, what is it broken china so now that I've torn it down some I'll just go back in with my broken china ink dauber and there I'm gonna place this right here where my zinc pill was right and I'm going to grab another let's see maybe I'll use my liquid craft bond for um, the purpose of getting this bead back on here I don't know if it's gonna work but if it doesn't we already have a zinc pill up there so I'm okay with that I didn't want to put them like right next to each other but there's the word zinc right below them all right so oh no guys I just stuck my index card in my letter Z that I <laughs> oh boy it's gonna be one of those days all right 
All right, did I even put glue on this? I didn't. What a crazy world we live in. All right, so here's this. This is gonna go right here. Right about, right about there. All right, so if I say all right one more time. <laughs> okay, there it is. There's our letter Z. We've got all kinds of things. Zodiac, Zephyr, the zombie, um, you know, I don't know, zinc, zinc pills. All right, so yeah, there's that. And then I'm going to do this. So I'm gonna let this dry for just a couple of ticks and then I'm going to do this one, which I believe is almost dry. Let's do the exact same thing. I'm gonna stamp it first with my stamps on or off the paper. I'm also going to use this one and again this is the field notes collection from Tim Holtz oops almost dropped it and oh great and uh, what else is missing from here just my Z I place it let's place it up here next to the zebra and here is my final sticker. This is a zinnia, which is a flower. I'm just going to pop it down anywhere. And I'm going to use the felt, which is in the shape of the letter Z. Add a little bit more glue to it, because who knows how long that felt has been sitting there with adhesive on the backs. And I don't have any more number twos, but when I find one, I will place 26 on here. So this one I'm going to call done. Back to this one. I'm just going to place my large vinyl Z on here. I'm using my wet craft bond, pretty much same concept as the glue stick. And again, when I find a letter, I mean a number two, I will um, place 26 on here. Okay, all right guys, we did it. We made it to the end. This is the end of the alphabet. Z is our, is our letter, 26 letters in the alphabet. We got here, we did this all on our own, made it to the end. All right, I'm going to also leave you guys here. I think we're at the end of this video. Have a super crafty day, guys. Go do something wonderful. Make it a Make It Monday. Go make something. I'm going to leave you right here. Check out my links down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for notifications after you've done so. Always, guys, stay naturally curious. The letters A through Z kept me so curious throughout the entire process. What am I going to do? How am I going to do this? Who's going to care? It doesn't matter. Just do something and make it your own. Stay naturally curious, guys. Bye.